Oh, thank God. WNBA kicks off. <laughs> we can change the subject. Caitlin Clark <laughs> makes her. I mean, it's like yesterday we were watching her play in college. Tonight we get to watch her play in the pros. The big debut, uh, 28th season starts tonight. Indiana taking on the Connecticut Sun. Uh, Impact-wise, Chandler, I mean, we're seeing it already, but on the court, what are you expecting? I mean, I expect her to be a, a big-time scorer in the WNBA. Obviously, we know how well she can shoot. You know how well she can shoot off the dribble and coming off screens. I think they're going to obviously showcase her and what she can do best. And I, and I think the, the impact she's already made with, I think, their preseason game, there was 13,000 people or something at the preseason game Ooh. last year. There was like 3,500 you see the chartered plane thing happening now. So I think just the the impact of her, the marketing of her, all the ads, the commercials, the deals she's getting, she's uh, she's already changed the game without having one real possession. So now we just get to sit back and watch her and enjoy her success uh, in the WNBA. And I don't, it's not going to be easy. It's it's another monster up here. It's another competitive physical. It's it's not. There's going to be some nights where she's going to look like a rookie, but I think for the most part. She's going to go and get buckets the majority of the nights. Did you see the video, Lou? The charter, first ever, the big charter WNBA. I now it. we get to all do it. How great is it? I, I mean, it. it's a small it, victory and yet a huge victory. I did. It made me It made me so happy that they were happy. And it made me also think about an interesting <laughs> dynamic that the WNBA has that the NBA doesn't because I'm looking at Kaylin Clark and I'm thinking, wow, She's probably the first rookie to ever have first dibs on sitting wherever she wants to sit on a, <laughs> on a charter plane because in the NBA, I don't care if you're LeBron James or anybody in the world, you got to <laughs> wait till all the vets pick their seats and then you get That's what's right. left over. In the WNBA, because she has so much impact in being able to, to create change and, and be able to uh, help, them, help those uh, young ladies have some of the perks of, of being in the WNBA as they should have. I'm like, wow, maybe she wants to sit in that chair. I think she picks her seat first and then everybody it. else falls in line. So it's a completely different dynamic in the WNBA than the NBA. You know what's funny, Lou? I was thinking about that. Like, there's no way Wimby is sitting front row like that with his legs fall out. He's sitting with another rookie or someone else young. They're bunking up. And while yeah. we're playing cards and we're getting our own seats, I was thinking that exact same thing when I saw that. But listen, she's got the juice. Even on a team Salute. like the Spurs, though, where everybody's 12, like kind of, it's not like there's a major yeah. senior on the squad. It like, does it, hey, do you think it's changed? Taylor, you know what else is dope? <laughs> They don't even have like staff to fill up the plane. Like they got girls sitting in the second section where the coaches usually that. would sit and everything. They don't have the staff to fill up the plane. So everybody can stretch out and really enjoy the perks of being on a charter flight. So salute oh. to the WNBA for getting this part of it right. Hopefully it gets better and better and better for these young women. Salute. Just Were you a card table? After. Were you a card table guy, Lou? I was absolutely a card table guy. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Absolutely. Are, are, are yeah, all sir. the planes, are they all configured the exact? I mean, I, I'm trying to think Spurs and Nets. Yeah. Yes. But are they all like the same exact? All right. Yeah. I just didn't know. We, we share planes. It's a, it's a, it's a yeah. handful of teams that have their own planes. Um, but everybody else, we share the charters. They'll drop us off, go pick up another team, come back and get us and that type of thing. So, yeah. Uh, see, sometimes even the hockey, it's like all thrown in there. Uh, she's got the uh, the prop bet for her tonight. Over under is 20 and a half. Chandler, you taking it? Under. What are you doing? Under. Over. Okay. Over, because I think she's going to I think she's gonna be aggressive, right? She's going to shoot 15, 20 shots. I think she can easily get that. I'm saying under because I'm pretty sure Chandler didn't watch any preseason Indiana <laughs> Fever basketball like I did. So <laughs> I'm going under. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking the under. I mean, it's you know, I don't think it'll be nerves though. Weirdly enough, she doesn't strike me as the type of human no. that nerves have an effect on her. No, right, I, I think it's just it's just a little different in the WNBA. They they got the the time of game plan for her. It's gonna be a little tougher to score there than in college. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Damn, he's going way over. All right. Uh, Lou, take that bet. $10,000. <laughs> Boom. All right. We're going to take a quick break. Come back a little bit more. Run it back when we return.